Welcome everybody, my name is Ezra, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a little testing of uh, the capture card I have, because I'm not too sure how it's going to go, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Mario, hopefully we'll be able to make it to the end, I will be using um, Warp Zone, because this isn't exactly <laughs> a playthrough, it's more of a, a speed, speedy speed speed run. So uh, let's see how it goes. Eh. I'm not talking for some reason. <laughs> um, you can go in this pipe right here to get coins, but I don't bother with that. I'm gonna be going through a lot of the little uh, secrets around here. I'm not, I'm not the best at this game, as, <laughs> as you can see, but I am. I just miss a power, by the way. <laughs> But I, ca I can play. I can play Mario. Um. <laughs> that was World 1-1. One, one. A little. Little hint for you guys. We're going to be going into World 1-2 next. Isn't that a surprise? <laughs> um. World 1-2 is the world renowned. Um. Underground level. Everybody knows it. With a little double Goomba here, and um, this is where the first instant of instance of Warp Zone is. Warp Zone is a secret area in the game where you can use it to pretty much get to la later areas of the game because either you're trying to do a speed run or you know you're just oh, I hate that guy. Or whether you just kind of plan. That right there is a one-up, and I want it, <laughs> cause one-ups give you lives. Um, let's see how this goes. Yes. Okay. Now here is where you get to warp zone. You want to ride this up to the top and jump over here. Run across, you see where those guys are? Welcome to Warp Zone. You can go to World 2, World 3, or World 4. We're gonna go to World 4 because this is just gonna be um, a nice little quick run of the game. That is a Lakitu, my worst stinking enemy. But because I've played through this enough today, I've sort of uh, practiced, I guess you could say, my Mario's. Um, I'm gonna be doing a Skyward Sword Let's Play. I mean, I don't know if it's too soon or something, but, um, I, I really like the game, and I was hoping I'd be able to do it without anybody flaming me or trolling me or, you know, any of that stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. And there's another warp zone in this level, by the way. Um, power up right there. There's a coin thingy up here somewhere. I, I forget where though, and I can't I can't be bothered with going to get it at the moment <laughs> or scavenging, more like it. Power up right there. So pretty much an instant flower in this level, and this is where you can find warp zone. Not the same way as before, but you do this. You don't want to go jump right up here because you're going to make another one of these, which will make it even harder for you to get up here. See? And you climb the vine. And you come to a nice little, um, overground area with some mushrooms and coins, which is always nice in a Mario game. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> And already we're at world 8. There are 8 worlds in this. Uh, each world has 4 levels. There's the beginning level, the... I don't know, underground slash underwater level, I guess. And then there's the third level, and the castle. We haven't been to any castles yet, and we're already nearing the final castle. So, Warp Zone helps you out oh, run, quite a lot. And uh, this world, world 8, has no such thing as a half point, I guess you could say. Oh, oh, go away. Um, like, 
in in most Mario games, you reach this thing called a checkpoint. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> you reach this thing called a checkpoint, which uh, which is found regularly around the middle of the stage. But because this is World Eight and it's supposed to be the hardest, there is no such thing as a checkpoint. You can run across these if you just run. Uh, oh, 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 God! Ah, <laughs> this is why I hate World Eight. Uh. Jump over the Goombas, Koopa, okay. And um, I I don't I don't care about the coins right now. I <laughs> really don't. Ah, I was hoping it would run across and kill you. In the third one of these, you can find a star. Here we go. And grab it. Run across. Kill. Jump, kill, jump, jump, jump. And, um, but yeah, I really wanted to know, is it too early for a Skyward Sword Let's Play? Or, like, like too soon? Or is it, ah, I didn't jump. Ah, I, I could have sworn I hit the button. <laughs> My dang controller is, is being stupid. Um, what's it called? Is it too soon? Or is it... Oh, my God. Or, like, I don't know. I feel like I want to let the world enjoy the game by themselves first, but I've been getting asked by a friend to do it because I already beat the game and I'd be doing it on hero mode. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why is there a bigger gap between the last two than there is between the first two? What? We got here with, like, what, five lives and we can't beat the first World 8 level? Ah! This is madness! No? Okay. And, uh, I'd be doing hero mode for Skyward Sword, which if you don't know, hero mode is a mode in the game. After you've beaten the entire game, you, um, are you don't really unlock it, you're more invited to play it. Um, the gimmick to hero mode is that it makes the game, I'd say, I would, I would say ten times harder. Because you take double da double damage from enemies. Um, rupees are even harder to find. And then there's no such thing as finding a heart on the floor. So. Oh my god. So, I mean. So yeah. Oh, oh, ending of the level. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah, 2,000, but I don't care. Woo! Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Hero mode. Uh, double damage. Less rupees. No hearts. Um, you do get some perks. But, I mean, I'd get through to that in-game. Uh, ah! No. I'm killing you, Lakitu. I'm killing you. And I'm killing you right now in this stinking game. Ah! You will not harass me. Right here, there's a one-up, which we desperately need. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no. One life left, and we never got that life. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Ooh. So yeah, Skyward Sword question mark. Should I? Yeah, okay. This has been Azer. I got a game over. And this is goodbye.